Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kill Shot. Arnie Armbar here, and then this week I'm joined by Chucky Chokeslam. So you stand up, wipe your ass, and flush the shitter, because it's time for DWF. We're glad to have you back, Chucky. I gotta say, it's gonna be a crazy show. We're getting right into it. The Phenom is on his way to the ring, joined by his girlfriend, uh, Holly Cash. And we know uh, there was a controversial finish to the end of uh, No Love Lost. Psychomaniac, new world heavyweight champion because of interference by, uh, I mean, I don't even know who uh, Holly Cashman looked like. Hopefully we get some answers here tonight. Well, that's what we're here to find out. Stoic interest here. Phenom definitely does not look like he's in a good mood. I wouldn't be either. He was not pinned, ladies and gentlemen. He was wrongfully stripped of that World Heavyweight Championship, in my opinion. Yeah, there you go with all your I'm opinions. sure you're all wondering exactly what the hell happened during the end of the main event at No Love Lost. Well, I regret to inform all of you that I shared the room with my sister, who has always been jealous of me. She was jealous of me and the Phenom's relationship. She was jealous because our father chose me to be on television. She knew I was banned from ringside, she knew the stipulation, and she came to sabotage the Phenom's chances of leaving with the title. She claims she tried to help, but worst of all, my brother Richie has taken her side. So tonight, the Phenom and I challenge Richie and Haley Cashman to a mixed tag team match. And once we're done beating some sense, into your psychotic twin sister and Monopoly mustache looking brother. I'm coming to get the world heavyweight title back. Psychomaniac is the most fierce opponent I've ever faced. With Akira by his side, he's especially dangerous. But I fear no man. There's no one in that locker room that has been able to put me down since I walked through the door. I am Killshot. I am the Degenerate Wrestling Federation, and I carry this company proudly on my shoulders for each and every one of you. Oh, ho, 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 Chucky. Here comes the Killshot Television Champion, Tenacious Smoke. Now this is what the show's all about. Smoke! 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 Successfully causing Hardcore Hibbley to tap out at No Love Lost. Now wearing that brand new title proudly around his waist. And we know the history with Phenom and Tenacious Smoke. We know it goes back to our first paper piece. You just know he came here to rub dirt in the world. Well, well, well. Look, everybody. It's the Phenom. My, how the tables have turned since we last stood face to face in a ring. If you're here to mock me, save it. I got business to take care of. Easy there, big guy. I'm out here to make you an offer. You see, I respect you. As a matter of fact, you're even starting to grow on me, kid. You're one of the few around here that get things done the right way. I know you had nothing to do with Hardcore Hillbilly and our match at foul play. You, you proved that. But I still think I had you beat. So what do you say? We run it back right now for the Kill Shot Television title. Kill Shot oh, TV man. title? Oh, wait a minute. You know, the Phenom should be on it. I t I'd say. To get, the the, to get Tenacious Smoke's respect? I mean, he should he should be kissing his shoes right now. Well, uh, Mr. Cashman has something to say. Is he gonna make the match official? I hope so. That'd be a banger. Na 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 na. Listen, gentlemen, I run the show, okay? The Phenom was unjustly stripped of the World Heavyweight Championship and No Love Lost. That's fine. But what's done is done. I'm not just gonna hand him back the title. He's gonna have to earn it when he faces Psychomaniac inside Hell in a Cell at the next premium live event, Locked Up. As for you, Mr. Smoke, 
you're going to have to defend your title tonight against an opponent of my choosing. Now clear the ring. So I guess we are getting a TV title match tonight, but it's just not going to be Phenom. Uh, that's exciting. Ball keeps rolling. As we know, uh, Francine Finkel has a torn MCL and is now disqualified from competing in the DWF after the brutal attack by Tia Tanaka. It is just disgusting. I loved every second. I mean, let me tell you, Ani, this is uh, this is what we come here for when we watch the Generate Wrestling. I mean, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss Francine. She, come on. And I'm gonna miss the carnage that happened at No Love Lost. But uh, you know, there's all everybody has the problems on. Well, nonetheless, I mean, we we, we can't we can't cry over spilled milk. We got a new women's champion. She's here to address the fans. Let's see what she's got to say. Finally, I've rid the DWF of that snot-nosed loser, Francine Finkel. Now, we can finally run the women's division properly. Now, you have a champion who you can be proud of. One who will define an era, become a legend, and transcend anything anyone in DWF or all of 1WA has ever accomplished. Francine tried to end my career with her stipulation that if I lost, I had to leave this company. So I ended hers with my bare hands and a steel chair. Oh, that's Tammy Orndorff's music. Francine Finkel's best friend, accompanied by her other best friend, Joan Clark. Really odd group for those three. Very grotesque. I, I wonder where they met. Ugly Anonymous. Look at those hats. Ugh. You know something, Tia? Normally I come out here, I like to dance. I like to joke. But what you did to my friend, Francine, is the lowest of the low. You tore Francine's MCL. She will never wrestle again. Her one true passion. But if she can't fight you, then I will. So get a ref out here and ring the freaking bell. Well, it looks like we got a match right now. Tammy Orndorff is going to defend the honor of Francine Finkel. You know, something just dawned on me, on you. Of course you mean Francine. Eh? Didn't you two have, like, a, a little thing going on? Oh, let's not start the rumors. Oh, it's Chucky. What are, you, what are you trying to get me killed? No, no, I, I'm just recalling. Chucky, half the time I'm doing commentary with my wife. You're going to Come on. There's no Francine. Disclaimer, everyone. Me and Francine... There's no, there's no smoke. That's what just the way he, he wants you to think that. I... <sighs> Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, can Tammy Orndorff knock off the women's champion? That'd be a huge win for her tonight. Especially, you know, she, she's trying to avenge her friend. I, I respect that. It's tall order though, women's champ Tia Tanaka. Yeah, but something tells me that she, uh, she could finish tall orders. <laughs> I wish I, I didn't laugh at that, ladies and gentlemen. No, but you did. T <laughs> Tammy Orndorff. Oh, slamming Tia down right to the mat. Tia Tanaka fighting back. She's got her girls in the corner, like she always does. They may be a factor. They have been in the past. They like to get their hands dirty. Count of two, but Tammy manages to kick out. Ooh. You know, it's not looking too good for this Tammy. Oh, the, right as I say something, right? <laughs> just the, just the rub it in my face. It's definitely always unpredictable here in the DWF. You gotta, you gotta keep your eyes peeled. It's anyone's match at this point, ladies and gentlemen. First match of the night. We know we got a Killshot TV title match on the line. 
later. We don't know against who. Mr. Cashman, it, it's, a, it's a mystery opponent. Oh, she's gearing up for the finish. Sizing up Tammy Orndorff. Ooh! Drop kick to the face. She probably faked her out with that one. That was not the finish. It's just a little mind games here. Working on that left leg. We know Tia Tanaka has the figure eight leg lock. She likes to, uh, she's tapped out many women with that. Doesn't surprise me that she's tapped out many women. What, uh, what chance do you think uh, Ms. Orndorff here has against our new women's champion, Tia Tanaka? You know, I, I think there's a chance. I mean, she's pretty much getting mopped up, but, you know, uh, you know, anything's possible. She... She's got heart. <laughs> she's got heart. But is heart enough? Is she degenerate? That's the question, ladies and gentlemen. Is she degenerate? We definitely know T is, especially after that attack. Here we go with the loss. sizing up. Sizing up once again. Oh, and it's a it's a chop. Seems like Tammy just ate it. Oh! Hook of the leg. Maybe she's got other plans. No, no, no. She did. She wanted the bend. She, she, she wasn't sure. But maybe the hesitation cost her. Quick kick out by Tia. You know, if she wins the match, first thing she did do is uh, get a nose job. I thought you were going to say challenge for the women's championship. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Priorities, right? <laughs> first things first. Oh, dude. going for the pinfall here. Ooh. We're putting the carriage before the horse, you know what I'm saying? Very close call for Tammy there. I didn't know, I didn't know she could uh, stretch... Stretch back that far. Nonetheless, Tia looking for some stomps. Looking to. Oh! Oh! And we were talking about it, and we're seeing it right now, Chuck. It is the figure eight leg lock. It's locked in. I don't think she could hold on. Is Tammy gonna tap? Is Tammy gonna. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. The women's champion takes it away. It's over, and Francine's on is gone talk about embarrassing coming out here trying to defend your friends on and then you tap out you, you just you don't even get pinned you know, you tap. but hey she gave it a shot tia tanaka i mean let her break the leg way. let her break the leg that's what i would have done honestly that's what I would have done. for my friends I'm I'm just saying. come on oh wait a minute what's this yeah there we go get oh. the chair Chucky. Get the chair. This is the same thing she did to Francine. She's going to try to... Oh! That's Roxy Steele. We haven't seen her since Uncooked. I think episode one or two. Competing I, in, the, in the submission title match. I, I guess enough's enough. She's out here to defend Tammy. I guess uh, Tammy's got more friends than we expect. Hero of the uncool, as they say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a tag team title gauntlet match in the memory of the late and great Jay Briscoe. You guys want to comment from us about No Love Lost? <laughs> Here's our comment. Screw you! We won't be in attendance tonight. Yeah, that's right. So if you bought a ticket, you wasted your money. Piss off! Hello, Louie Loverboy. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I came to find you because I saw you at No Love Lost. You had so much aggression against your former partner, and color me impressed. We could use some aggression like that in Salvation. Especially after that illegal attack by Alexia Banks on Uncooked. But my point is, I know there's a lot on your mind. And you're a newly eligible bachelor. And I just think I could use someone strong, passionate, to protect me and the rest of Salvation. I'll give you a week to decide. 
And even if you decide not to take me up on my offer, you should still call me. Chucky, was that? That sounded like it was Akira, the leader of salvation. Some secret backstage footage returning. Louie, that son of a bitch, you know. Not a bad piece of ass, you know, for a rebound. That dog. He's right back at him. Gets right back on the horse. And we get back on the horse. We have an uncooked feature match here tonight, Chuck. We have a 15-minute Iron Man tables match. It's match two, best of seven. Tommy War versus the franchise Chris James. Tommy War is the uncooked television champion. And uh, Chris James attacked him with a mask on uncooked. And then, and then he challenged him to a best of seven here. And he's promising a clean sweep. He won the first match. He says he's going to win all four straight. Tommy has no, cho- no chance. Well, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of money to put where your mouth is. And that's what we're here to find out. Both of these men devastating competitors. And I know that Tommy is just... He's got to be livid. I mean, first an attack from behind in a mask. You know, the mind games. And then he lost match one. You know, but but it says something that these two men are here on kill shot. I mean, uh, uncooked, the uncooked roster doesn't... It's not every day they walk through these, these curves. I mean, winning here tonight would be a big way. A big way to, to prove that he, sh- he deserves that title that he's holding in his hand. Absolutely. Maybe even uh, deserves a call up to the main roster on Killshot one day. Who knows? I think this kid's got a bright future. He's been defending the title with honor. Chris James, though, man. Brand new MWA Midwest Heavyweight Champion, by the way. He's, he's been on fire. Him and his faction, Rogue 3. They've been killing it all over 1WA. Are they going to continue tonight, or is Tommy going to put a stop to it? Little, little neck crack. You know, I, I always start my day with a neck crack, you know. I get a little stiff. You can't do anything with a stiff neck. You, you can't focus. You, you know. The franchise. Chris James on his way to the ring. He looks ready to put in work here tonight, so. Absolutely. I mean, he, like I said, he's promising a clean sweep. Big words. But he's got to walk the walk and talk the talk. He looks ready to do both. I don't fucking buy it. I mean, come on. He's a he's our uncooked champ, Tommy. You think he's a slouch? It's, it's almost disrespectful. No, matter of fact, it is disrespectful. But that's what we're all about here, degenerate wrestling. Disrespect. You know, fuck you, fuck him. You know, fuck your mother. Hey, but I didn't say it. He did. That's why we're here. We want to see if it's going to be a clean sweep. Definitely disrespect. Nothing but disrespect for uh, Tommy War from the franchise, Chris James. We saw recently, we didn't get to comment on it, Tenacious Smoke earlier in the night. Our kill shot TV champion, he greeted Tommy War, shook his hand, wished him uh, luck tonight. That was real cool. You know, TV champ to TV champ. I mean, he should be so honored to shake hands with the likes of Tenacious Smoke. We all know Tenacious Smoke is definitely a big deal here in the DWF. Tommy Ward just dropped Chris James with two finishers. Oh! But Chris just playing possum. It's the mind games, Chucky. Chris James and those gosh darn mind games. They're gonna make the difference. Tommy gotta keep a level head. Yeah, he leveled his head. Chris James dropping him. Pandering to the to the audience. Although we know Chris James does not really care what the audience thinks of him to begin with. Knee so hard it appeared to slow down time. And now he's on the top rope. Oh! He didn't get that one. Just fucking whiffed it. <laughs> Hey, it happens sometimes here. That's the unpredictable world of the DWF. And Tommy War looks focused and confident. Misses that kick. I don't think there's any time for gloating. These guys always like to taunt, you know. It's like, come on. This is the best of seven here. This is a kill shot. 
Chris James going first man going for the table. Looks like Tommy's going for one now. The bricks on the side of the you know, I always talk to Cindy. I'm like the bricks on the you know, the cashman, right? It's like you know you, you think they could afford some mats. Uh, her her argument is that the cashman Mr. Cashman is just a sick bastard who likes to see pain. Yeah, well that's what they would call a sadist, I think. Mr. Mr. Sadist Cashman. Hopefully you didn't hear me say that. And Chris James gloating once again. Yeah, I already got like two strikes, that's why I've been missing for a while. I mean it, but we don't want to. We don't got to talk about that. I mean, uh, forget about Cashman. H how about we just don't talk about Cashman, okay? If, I, if I'm in the same room. Yeah, no, maybe that's maybe that's for the best. You know, we like to have you here, Chucky. Absolutely. Ooh. Oh my goodness! I don't know if Tom, Tommy's gonna be feeling that in the morning, my guy. Right on the bricks, like we just mentioned. These guys can't seem to decide what to do with the tables. Pick it up, throw it down. Chris James stalking Tommy War on his way to, to get that table. Oh, right down on the bricks, as you were just talking about. I tell you, man. The uh, how do you... I, I feel like I couldn't sign a contract. You know, once I saw how unsafe it was at ringside, I, I just... I couldn't do it. I mean, come on. It's, it's, a, it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Well, that's why there's the contracts on you, so you can't see. Tommy War with more gloating. First table being introduced into the ring. 11 minutes, 50 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time for each one of these men to pull out a, a big stop, a big finish. This is a pretty fun concept match, uh, Chucky, I gotta say. You know, Iron Man tables. It's whoever can put their, their opponent through the most tables in the time limit. You know, it's, uh, you don't see it every day. I like that they're shaking it up, you know. Best of seven, you know, it could drag out, you know, every match being different stipulations. I like that. Man, laid him out with that table. You know, things aren't looking too good for, uh, for our champ here. Setting up the table. Who's gonna go through it first? That's the question. Ooh! Usually it's the guy who sets it up that goes through. Uh-oh. I think we're gonna see it right here, Chucky. First table of the night! There you go! Tommy War picking up the first fall with a power slam through the table. Chris James must regret setting that one up. He's gotta turn it up now, especially if he wants to keep his promise. No time to pick the splinters out of his back. He's got to keep going. The clock is ticking. Pick him out. Keep him in there. That's his. That's his fuel. That's his motivation. That's that's what keeps him hungry. He, he's got. He's got to work harder now. I agree with you wholeheartedly, Chucky. Here he goes, setting up the second one. He doesn't stop. Hopefully it doesn't go the same way though. Oh, it oh, looks like Tommy might put him through a second one. Table just dramatically dropped. Uh oh. If the table was still there, he, he might have been able to turn Tommy around and, and tie this match back up. Nine minutes, fifty-six seconds. Can Chris James tie it up and then and then put him through another table to pull forward? Ooh, devastating. Kicks, chops, kicks. I just thought of this. What, ha what, what happens in the event of a tie? Oof. That's a good uh, That's a good question, Chucky. I guess we probably go to uh, to overtime. There'd have to be one more table to go. I would assume maybe Mr. Cashman would come out here and make some new, I, I don't know. Sudden death rules. Table match to the death. But we don't want to see that happen here tonight, folks. We just want to have a nice, fun, nice night. Oh, Degenerate wrestling. Nice night. Not a nice night for Chris James. He busted is busted wide open. Busted wide open, and it is 1-0 oh, favoring Tommy War. Not looking uh, good for the clean sweep, uh, he promised. 
honestly, if Tommy just keeps this up, he doesn't have to put him through any more tables. He just, he, you know, he wins the fall. Oh, he's got to, he just, if he's on defense mode, he's good. If I was him, I'd throw every table out of the ring. No more tables. But what I would do, Arnie, is I would just keep, keep beating the man. You know, really drive the point. You know, he, remember, he was trying to disrespect him. Oh, he definitely has disrespected him. Multiple occasions, Chucky. And, oh! Chris James, night, night. Put this guy a blanket. He just keeps bringing in more tables into the ring. I love it. Tommy is just, you know what it is, Chucky? I, I wish these guys would be strategic. I wish they would put their egos, they check them at the door. But it's personal, and, and, and you can't blame it. You can't blame it. They just want to hurt each other. But that's what scares me. I think Tommy War, he might slip up just letting the emotion get the best of him. That's Chris James' whole game, you know. Get in, get in his head. That's, that's a secret weapon. Oh, here we go. Oh, can Chris tie it up here? Oh, what is this? He's got him on his shoulders, ladies and gentlemen. Oof. I believe he used to call that an angry F5. Used to go by the angry New Yorker. Changed his name to the franchise. I got to ask him what his, his finisher is now. You know, I don't want to sound like a schmuck on, on the commentary. You know? A little late for that, Arnie. I mean, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Right through the table and Chris James ties it up. And he wastes no time, he picks him right back up, drops him right back on his neck. Tying up oh. the match. Slap across the face. And just like that, it looks like it's Chris James back. He's taking over once again. It's still a time match here, Arnie. Anybody, anything can happen. It's all about who will go through the next game. What is Tommy thinking here? I guess he's thinking table. I mean, what else? Man, tied match. 627. Tommy walked right into that one. Angry F5. They're going to be picking out splinters for weeks. Maybe it's the angry franchise. Get it? You know? No. Nah. Right. Oh, F. F, F, F. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was trying to work with you. Uh, maybe we should talk about Cashman. You know? Oh, but look at the. Ooh! The franchise. With a power bomb right through the table, right in the center of the ring, and just like that, Chris James with two falls. It's two to one. Things suddenly looking bleak, to say the least, for Tommy, our champ. And there you see Tommy, like I said, emotions getting the best of him. He just, just wants to, to punish, punish Chris James. Almost like he's having a temper tantrum. He's got to stay focused, man. He, Tommy, this is the television title we're talking about. Well, he's burning valuable time. He, he... He's so angry, I think he's just seeing red right now. He's just abandoned the match completely. He just wants to punish. Just he, Exactly. He's, he, where are the tables, Tom? Get a table. We got five minutes on the clock. Do you want to shut this guy up? I mean, uh, all he does is run his mouth all day on Instagram Live. He's talking about a clean sweep. Get the lumber, my guy. Chris James, all he's got to do is chill out. I'm sure he won't. Because these guys, they just, like I said, big egos here. They just want to one-up each other. Another power bomb. Oh, boy. The fans are on their feet. Four minutes and 30 seconds. Tommy with a reversal. Tommy, keep an eye on that clock, my guy. Setting up the table. Just trying to tie things up. Only four minutes and 14 seconds left. 
I'm getting ner- I, I, I don't know about you. I'm getting my palms are sweating. I'm get like I'm getting anxious here. Like sorry. Tommy, come on. This is it. Ooh, reversal. Uh oh. Not looking good. Not looking good for our TV champ. Can the franchise run away with it? Three minutes and fifty on the clock. Oh my god. No! No! Oh my god! He's he's running away with it! Salt in the wound. He's sizing him up. He's going for another angry F. Oh! Reverse by Tommy War. Three minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. Make a wish, ladies and gentlemen. Tommy has a lot of work to do, a lot of catching up. Oh man, it is three to one favoring the franchise. Again, again with the angriness, the, ten the temper tantrum. He, he, he's forgetting about the match. A submission? Come on! Oh, he just wanted to... What? He wanted to prove he could tap him? Grab a table! Oh, man. Three minutes on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a lot of lumber to get through if he wants to at least tie this match. Never gonna happen, honey. Never gonna happen. I've watched a lot of wrestling, a lot of wrestling in my life. It's never gonna happen. No chance. He's he's wasted too much time. Ooh! You know, I'm 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 pretty much disgusted at this point. Frankly, I'm disgusted. Chucky, I gotta tell you, I believe in Tommy War. He's gonna pull it through. Tommy! You're not making me look good though. You know, grab a table. C can I get off the comment? Can I slide a table in the is that illegal? Is, I mean there's no DQ, right? No, I guess technically no. No DQ. Tommy, what are you thinking right now? Head in the game. He's abandoned. He's abandoned all reason, all logic. It doesn't matter. Oh. Maybe he's he's finally coming to his senses, ladies and gentlemen. Grabbing the What is he? He can't decide, Chucky! It's gotten to the point that this man cannot think straight. The ang the angry New York the franchise Chris James has messed with this man's career. He's messed with this this tournament so much that Tommy War is beside himself. It's literally foaming at the mouth. I think Tommy War is losing some confidence, Chucky. I think I he doesn't know what to do. Tommy, it's one minute and thirty on the clock. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not liking how it's looking for Mr. War. Unless he could put him through this table and another one. I don't know what's gonna happen, Chucky. You know, at this point, I just want Chris to get up and put him through another fucking table. Yeah, come on, franchise, let's go! Put him through a fucking table! Put him through two more fucking tables! 50 seconds! This abandoned the match, Chucky. It's too personal. He doesn't care about the tables anymore. He just wants to hurt him. He wants to maim him. Maybe he wants to injure him. He wants to just, just throw the whole best of seven out the window. Chris not gonna let that happen. Chris James is just coasting it right now. We got 20 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the writing's on the wall. I, there's no way. It's over. Well, like I said, they just want to hurt each other. They, they don't care. Match done. And it goes to Chris James. It's 2-0. Two more for that clean sweep, Chucky. Absolutely busted up. I mean, he went to war on Tommy War. Wearing the crimson mask, the war paint. No pun intended, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what the next match is gonna be, but Tommy's gotta bring his A game. At least something better than that. Oh, shut up, everyone shut the fuck up. You're right, everybody shut your mouths, crack your daddy sodas, 
because we got the Killshot TV Championship coming up. Tenacious Smoke against a mystery opponent. I wonder who it's going to be. I don't recognize this music, Chucky. Who's this? What is that, a pom-pom? That is a big man. Shang Yamamoto. He's got back, as they say. Debuting here with TTSJ, who was recently fired by Richie Cashman. Uh, Mr. Cashman. Maybe he's giving him a second chance. He wants him to uh, manage him or something. I don't know. You think TTSJ is a... Uh, He's like a recruiter or something? Where'd they find this guy? What does this guy eat? At least 20 pounds of tuna for breakfast. Why would Mr. Cashman choose this large, extremely large stranger managed by TTSJ to face Tenacious Smoke with no warning for the TV championship? Seems a little odd. Seems, seems a little unfair. You know, maybe it's just a, a way to keep his foot in the door, Arnie. I mean, on his way out, Cashman's got rid of him. He's trying to stay relevant. Well, on his way to the ring, our TV champ, Tenacious Smoke. I love that t-shirt. We gotta open up DWF shop, because uh, that, that's a fire shirt. Fire belt, fire hat. Tenacious Smoke seems to have no fear or intimidation for this mystery man that he's about to face. I'm I'm scared just sitting a few feet away from this man. I mean, have you really ever truly seen Tenacious Smoke scared of anybody? I can't say I've ever seen that once. Looks ready to go here. What, what do you think his chances are here, Chucky? Big man's chances? Chances Either of what? Or. Catching a heart attack? Or beating our champion here? Because I'd say they're slim to none. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're happy to have Chucky Choke Slam back on commentary. You know, he's not one to ever mince words. Hits you right between the eyes. This man, Shang Yamamoto, he's huge. And he is staring a hole through our kill shot TV champ I wonder what uh what's what's the motive here with Mr. Cashman making this match I, we never heard of this guy before tenacious unfazed unbothered cold death stare from our champ tenacious smoke he might as well be looking at Tammy Orndorff across the ring right now that, that's how confident he looks Is that a jab at Tammy's weight? <laughs> Absolutely not. That, that seems kind of that seems kind of rude. Disclaimer: Tammy Orndorff, you know, big fan. Arnie Armbar, big fan. Don't let Chucky. He likes he likes to stir the pot. You know, he. I don't know where he goes for months, and he comes back to stir the pot. Oh, I forgot. He had, he's got beef with the CEO. Oh, sorry. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get back to the match. I have nothing to do with Cashman. Not even affiliated, really. I just work for the guy. It, you, gentlemen, gentlemen, absolute gentlemen. And this man, Shang Yamamoto here. Woo! Jesus Christ, he just lifted him way above his head. And that guy's got to be doing his deadlifts in the gym. Tenacious Smoke. Same way he looks, same way, he's, same way he's acting. He's not afraid of this man. He's taking the fight right to him. I mean, this man is very large. He's giving him a run for his money, no doubt. That was a long way down. How, how, how big you reckon this guy is? I mean, this, this sumo of a man. This guy's got to be, I, I'm talking at least seven foot tall. At least. I'm going to have to find the stats on this guy. Oh my god, crushing weight right in the belly of Tenacious Smoke. He might have sprained ribs, if not worse. 
How is this man climbing to the top rope? Jesus Christ! He might have stopped his heart right there. That, that He should go for the pinfall right here, ladies and gentlemen. That should be illegal. And look at TTSJ, smug look on his face. I wish that he would have stayed fired. Yeah, walk over here. Piece I'll fucking trash. slap you. Get over here. Piece of trash. I don't know why. I don't know why he gave him a second chance, Mr. Cashman. I mean, he gave you a second chance. I'm, I'm, I'm happy he did. Yeah, but I'm me. Yeah, you deserve it. You, you know, you. I'm Chucky Chokeslam. You, you, you can't have this without me. Shang taking tenacious to the outside. Chucky, I gotta say, Shang doesn't really seem. Uh, to focus on strategy in this match. He just looks like he came here with a vendetta to beat the hell out of Tenacious Smoke for some reason. Where's he taking him? The referee's counting to 10. He's going to get DQ'd. He's not going to win the TV title that way. Maybe it's not about the title at all. It's just for the, just for the, the air time. Just to make a statement. On our champ, Tenacious Smoke. Well, we're at a count of six at this point, ladies and gentlemen. And Shang, did he, does this man know the rules? Anyone explain to him he's got to finish the match in the ring to win? Eight. Count of eight now. Nine. Count of nine, Tenacious. Tenacious Smoke making a run for it. Strategic play, Ooh. resetting the count. He he wants all the smoke. He doesn't want Shang to get disqualified. He wants to beat him fair and square. And you gotta love, you gotta love that from our TV champ. Stomps to the back of the head. Shang still has no interest of getting back in the ring. Count of five now, we're halfway there. I want to know what the hell's going on, Chucky. I mean, Shang, it looks like he's not even wrestling a match. He's, he's here to do a job, almost. Hey, maybe that's why Cashman gave TTSJ a second chance. Maybe this is all rigged just to soften up our champ. You you really th you really think Mr. Cashman would have some sort of vendetta against Tenacious Smoke like that? I mean, I'm just reading the signs, Arnie. If you if you're too if you're too dense to pick up on them, I mean, that's you. Uh, I I hold my judgment. I, I will agree it's a bit fishy. Things are not adding up here, but um. Uh, I don't know, maybe the match will turn itself around. Maybe Shang will go for a cover. Maybe we will see a new champ, or, or possibly not. I personally, I try to be unbiased, but I hope Tenacious could, could, could pull this out. He just won the title last night. Goading our champ on, telling him to stand up. Oof, shot to the rib cage. Headbutt to the shoulder. This man. These moves may not look so devastating, Chucky, but remember, this man is about seven foot, if not more, feet tall. And he's got to be over 400 pounds. But trust me, Arnie, Tenacious Smoke, he's been known. He's been known what to the hell take. What is this? This isn't a no disqualification match. Tenacious not having it. He knows, he knows his way around a steel chair. Man, it's become very clear, ladies and gentlemen, Shang Yamamoto, this man who has debuted here tonight, out of nowhere, seemingly, he, he does not care about the rules of this match. For some reason, it's it's like Tenacious Smoke must have stolen this guy's lunch money back in kindergarten or something. It's like, what the hell, what, what problem does he have with our TV champion? TSJ Definitely beginning to look suit. suspect. Uh-oh. And again, devastating Oof. pressure on the belly of our champ. Taking the wind right out of him. TTSJ dancing around like a little schoolgirl at ringside. Disgusting. Yeah, I just wish he'd walk over here. Smug prick. I almost want to buy him a new suit because I hate looking at that. 
but he doesn't deserve he doesn't deserve anything from me. Shane going back to the outside. Is he looking to pick up that steel chair again? Oh, he's looking for something else. Kendo stick. And he's going to end them. Oh! Tenacious Smoke just not having it. He He's determined to finish this match. Refusing to let it go to DQ or count out, ladies and gentlemen. A fighting champion, one we could really be proud of. I mean, like I was saying before, before you rudely interrupt me, Artie, is Tenacious Smoke, he's been known to take unwielding amounts of damage and still pulling out the victory. It's, it's just a matter of, of when that's going to happen. I can't argue with you there, Chucky. I mean, uh, I got to remind our fans of, of, I think it was Kill Shot Episode 2 or 3, uh, Tenacious Smoke versus the Benjamins, former tag team champions, in a handicap match. He won that match against all odds. And this guy's got to be at least worth two, P two Benjamins. Now you're taking a jab at, at, at Shang's weight. I, I, I see the direction you're taking this, Arnie, and I can't say I disagree. Well, hey, I mean, everything's up for interpretation, ladies and gentlemen. But back to the outside, Shang. Ooh, got him by the throat. Oh, and slams him down. Head first onto the bricks. That's a lot of damage. And he's going for the the steel steps, the brick steps. I don't know what they're made out of, but they, they don't look... Uh, they're not plastic, I'll tell you that. Count of five. Once again, Shang does not care. I think Tenacious, by this point, he knows he that uh, he, he, he has to go with a new strategy. You know, it's he's got to avoid the DQs as well as trying to take down this giant man. Another one. And that might be it for our TV champ. I don't know if he's getting up from that. Oh, we're at a count of nine, Chucky. What's going to happen? That's it. That's all she wrote. Count of ten. And he's out of here. Just like that. Unbelievable display. That was freaking beautiful. Now that we got that taken care of, I got to get out of here for the night. I'm leaving you in charge. Don't mess it up. And don't have that stupid mixed tag match. You need to all figure out a way to get along. I'm serious. Well, uh, I guess Richie Cashman did not heed his father's orders on that one. Looks like he's on the way to the ring with his sister, Haley, who cost the Queen on the world title. Looks like we're going to have a mixed tag match. Spoiled children, Artie. I mean, a spoiled brat's gonna be a spoiled brat. There's no way around it, but uh, I hope personally they get their asses kicked here tonight. Yeah, seriously, you know, all that money just goes to waste. Out of my picture, can you believe that shit? And they tax And on the way to the ring, our world's heavyweight champion. And he's strutting, he's strutting down, accompanied by his girlfriend, and apparently twin sister, Holly Cashman. I didn't know that, that there, there were twins in the Cashman family. Well, I think we all know who the black sheep of the family is. I mean, walking out with her brother's main competitor, I mean... See, but it makes me think, you know. Mr. Cashman doesn't want this to go down. He, he, he's, he just said, you guys all got to figure out a way to make this work. So, maybe Holly isn't the black sheep. Maybe, you know, I, I think that Mr. Cashman is fond of the phenom. And he probably wants, uh, 
to build maybe a like a, like a dynasty in, in this in this company, you know? I'm just guessing. I don't know. Dynasty or cool? Did I say that? Let me fucking. Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the last time we see Chucky for a while. <laughs> He's been a little off color tonight. But Bella about a ring. Here we go. The lady starting it off. Sister versus it's sister sister right now here. They're attacking the ref. I don't know what you know. She probably wanted to attack the ref because he's he's the guy who stripped the phenom right of the title, and she claims that she was just trying to help and all that. She probably has a vendetta against the referee now. Makes sense to me. It all sounds clear. Phenom and Richie now squaring up. Going for a quick cover. Got to do more than that to put down the former world champ. That is coming out strong. It feels like just yesterday, uh, the Phenom was in a tag team match with Outlaw Jack versus Big Nasty and Bubba Blaze. Outlaw Jack abandons him. Mid match, and Richie Cashman came to to fill Outlaw Jack's place to help the Phenom in that tag match. Now they're at each other's throats. Things change at the drop of a drop of a dime. What is it? A hat? A drop of a hat? Drop of a dime? Something. They change fast around here. I think it's turn of a dime. Turn of a s something, ladies and gentlemen. You kill a bird with a stone. That's all I know. Makes sense to me. Oh, and he sends Mr. Richie Cashman. Oh, it's right to the outside onto those bricks. I bet he, he wants to uh, talk to his dad about investing in some floor mats now. I wonder, I wonder if Haley Cashman and Richie Cashman, if they really do have the Phenom and Holly's best interest. You know, I could totally see Richie being jealous of the Phenom being the world champ. I mean, can you see him wanting uh, to be the face of the company? I mean, it, you you could you could probably imagine he feels entitled to it. I mean, being the son of the owner, you know. Definitely entitled to everything else. I mean, he's been a complete snob, ladies and gentlemen. Here on Kill Shot. Luckily, he hasn't trickled into Uncooked yet. I don't got to deal with him on those nights for now. Women tag back in. I think it's really cute that Holly's dressed up like the female. You know, you got to love it. A lot of, lot of sibling rivalry here. You, 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 could almost, you could almost see them fighting like this back in the womb. I mean, not enough space in there. Yeah, I mean, these women are so vicious. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a triplet that didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, one of them got it absorbed into the other situation, you know? Absolutely. And it looks like probably would have been Haley Cashman, the one rocking the uh, green and white. Because <clears throat> she is just... She's really going... She's going after her sister here. No love lost. They should have had this match a no love lost. Just like that, the unpredictable of nature, DWF, it seems that Holly has control of the match. What do you think Mr. Cashman's going to say about this? When he realizes, when he gets to his hotel, or I don't, I don't know where he's going, right? When he gets to wherever he goes, turns on the TV, sees this live, what do you think he's, he's going to, I feel like he's, he's going to pop a, ve a blood vessel. He definitely won't be happy. He's got no one to blame. But his own children. I mean, it's disgusting. His own children. Oof. Adding insult to injury. No pun intended. Our next pay-per-view event for Uncooked. Insult to injury, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to miss that. We got Kieran Cook versus Adrian Williams world title. We got the best of seven continuation. The finals of the first blood tournament. I mean, it goes on and on. 
I'll be here all night if I list all the things we got going on here in the DWF. And Phenom now. Hook of the leg. Is he going to put him away, Chucky? Kick out by Cashman. Can't seem to end the match here. Not just yet. Oh, super kick. I would hate to wrestle this guy. Imagine all the glitter you have all over yourself when you're done. Yeah, you'd be Jeez. washing out green from your ass crack for days. Forget about it. It's almost like the sand from the beach. Yeah, seriously. It gets in the most uncomfortable places. Not to mention the cheap cologne. You smell this guy walking through catering? Cheap cologne he wears? Ugh. All that money can't buy, can't buy decent cologne. Oh, a breath mate. Tagging in his sister. And in comes his other sister. Are the women going to put an end to the match? Sibling rivalries full show. And brother versus potential in-law, I guess. Maybe it's too soon. Oh! Wha Wait a minute. Ailey Cashman had her. Did you see that? Her she had hand, her hand on the rope. Her hand was on the rope and they counted three. They, they got to fire this referee already. Well, all this, all of these shenanigans, it's, it, enough is enough. Got to pull his head out of his ass. Well, something tells me this isn't the end of their sibling rivalry. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Psychomaniacs music. Our new World Heavyweight Champion is on his way to the ring. This is bad news for the Phenom. Accompanied by Akira as usual. Psycho Maniac. And honestly, enough said there. I don't gotta explain anything else other than telling you his name. It says it all. But what does he want with our world champ? Our former world champ. Maybe just the gloat. Oh. The lights. The lights just went out, Chucky. Where did Phenom go? Oh my goodness. More dark magic trick. What? That's Louis Lane's music. Interrupting Psychomaniac. The ball's on this kid. What's going on? Kira, I didn't want to interrupt, but I don't have to make you wait until next week, okay? You want me to join Salvation, I get it. I have your answer. My answer is no. But what I am out here for is to announce that next week I'm challenging the Phenom one-on-one. -on -one. And if I could beat him, I want in on that title match. Make it a triple threat for the World Heavyweight title. Triple threat! Louie Lane displaying the heftiest of balls here tonight, walking right out in front of our world champion, requesting a triple threat if he could beat the Phenom. I fucking love it. And I, I believe, you know, don't get me wrong, Phenom's great and all, but I think Louie has a strong chance here. I cannot believe what just happened. The disrespect to our world champ, Psychomania. And he just turned down Akira. Akira was kind of hitting on him, right, backstage? He said, my answer is no. No room for simps here on DWF. I mean, it's all about the paper, and it's all about getting degenerate. You got to love the swag on this kid, you know? His best friend steals his girl. He kicks his ass at the pay-per-view, and now he's turning down women and, and calling out former world champs. Look at this. I love this kid. He's definitely going places. Oh, Look at these two maniacs. Call him thing one, thing two. Fucking jumping around. Looking all crazy. I mean, uh, these, these masks, they're the things of nightmares here. I mean, think about it. The, the children are screaming. 
Hopefully the children are in bed by now. They are a little scared. It looks like Halloween. Well, hopefully the children are fucking watching this show. Now listen, if you brought your children here tonight, you're fucking awesome because you're degenerate. But you're also a piece of shit because you brought your children. Now, I'm now, with the now, match. Now, 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 disclaimer, uh, uh, Chuck, you know, we got we to gotta talk about this cursing situation. Okay? Oh, no, I don't know if you I, got the, I, I if you got the, the prompt. Now. No, it's, it's not us. It's YouTube. YouTube's going to take... They're going to start... It's a whole thing. I'll, I'll tell you I'll tell you off air. But, ladies and gentlemen, the ball keeps rolling. They're trying to sense it, Chuck. On the way to the ring, Blaze Nasty, our tag team champions. And this is the tribute to Jay Briscoe, the late great. One of the greatest tag team champions of all time. And they're here rocking camo to represent the Briscoes. Because we all know the Briscoes rock their camo. That's that's their signature look. And uh, they're here to represent in this gauntlet match right now. Yes, very touching. And we know that these men started at each other's throats. They were originally going for the world title. And they seem to uh, grow respect for each other. Fighting week after week. And they, they've, they have strength in numbers now. Tag team titles on the line. Main event, ladies and gentlemen. Gauntlet match. Four teams, one winner. I can't even say Bomber and Bombshell look confident because they're wearing masks. Which means I don't know what their faces look like. But I'll tell you, Big Nasty and Bubba Blaze look ready to go. I mean, look at the size of these two men. They're built like the Twin Towers. I love those purple straps on those belts, too, man. Who's ever head of, you know, the art direction here in this company? Ugh. Killing it. Killing it. <laughs> Bell rings. Here we go. Acrobatics by Bomber, as usual. I didn't think he was going to make it up that high. Looking to take home the Kill Shot Tag Team Championships. And are they going to do it, Chucky? Are they going to put away the the reigning and defending tag champs, Blaze Nasty? I mean, if they if they pin them right now, then we're guaranteed new champs. I doubt it. I mean, come on. You know, I know you want to play the unbiased game, but not, not everybody's a winner, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say it clearly for everybody listening out there. Not yeah. everybody under general wrestling's a winner. Every, every, every match has got to have a loser. That is probably the most wisdom you've ever spit here on commentary, Chucky, because that is definitely fruit for thought. There's always got to be a loser. But you know what? There's got to be a winner too. And I want to see who it's going to be tonight in this gauntlet match. Bubba Blaze going for that cover. Didn't see all of it. One count. And now the muscle of Bomber and Bombshell. Probably have a much better chance against Bubba Blaze than Bomber. Although you can't count out the high flyers, you know, Rey Mysterio, you know, Rey Mysterio, J Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy, okay, okay, yeah, I'll give it to you, I'll Darby Allen's a good one, AEW, you know, oh, cover here, hook of the leg, kick out by Bubba Blaze, I love this new look with Bubba, you know, he, he uh, the shirtless look, he's got new tats, I love it. I got a new name for these guys. They're the Beards of Mayhem. The Beards of Mayhem. I like that name. I'm gonna I'm gonna call them that. Patented Chucky Choke Slam. Anybody uses it, you owe me a nickel. And he'll be counting too. Hook of the leg. Ooh. Beards of Mayhem not looking too good here. It's an act. Come on. Get up. 
It may have been an act, Chucky. Looks like he was playing possum, got those knees up at the last second. You know, Bubba Blaze and Big Nasty, man, brand new team, completely devastating. I mean, you got you, you would think these guys grew up together. They, they're they're psy in ring psychology and understand that their chemistry is just off the charts. Tagging in his partner. Always smart to tag in and out, Chucky, especially in a in a gauntlet match. You know, they, definitely they, definitely gotta keep uh, keep check on your stamina in this in these types of situations. Definitely. They got a long way to go, ladies and gentlemen. This is only match one of the gauntlet. Another tag in. Taking our advice. I mean who wouldn't? Oh, what is this? Ooh! Power slam! It's over. Hook of the leg. Here comes his partner to break it up. That probably would have been the three, Chucky. Quick interference. I mean, any respecting teammate would go in there and try to save the match. Another tag into Big Nasty. Going after that arm. Another breakup. They're going to have to figure out another way. They're going to have to somehow... They're going to have to take both of them out before they even attempt to pin. Absolutely. They're going to have to deal with Bombshell before they could even try to pin Bomb. But these guys mean business. I mean, it's been wall to wall. I mean, from the moment the bell rang, it's just been aggression from Blaze Nasty, from the beards of mayhem, if you will. All I know is Bomber's getting beaten like an ex-wife. And there it is. See you later, B and B. And just like I predicted, you heard it here, here. All right, who's the next team? We still got another team to go. Not even breaking a sweat here, folks. Oh, oh my goodness. Razor Smoke. Jack and Smoke. Outlaw Jack and Razor Smoke. Now that is an interesting team. Former Uncooked, our first ever Uncooked World Heavyweight Champion, teaming up with Outlaw Jack, who we know is a problem on Kill Shot. Both of these scrappers here. Willing to, to put their lives on the line to secure a win. I mean, they're both animals. So, Chucky, I mean, you feel differently now with this team in the ring? What's going to happen here with uh, the Beards of Mayhem? Now, this is this is definitely an interesting lineup. I mean, I mean, looking out it on it from the outside, I mean, these are these are these are very large men, big nasty Bubba Blaze. I mean. They got they got a long way to go before they could put them down. And I, I just I didn't see Bomber or, or, or Bombshell even giving them any trouble at all. It just looked like a, like they were like they were just testing the waters almost, almost, almost. like a like a pre workout for the real match that that lied ahead. Well, hopefully they save some win, Chucky, because these guys are definitely going to be a problem. I'm talking a former world champion. And these guys, I mean, Bubba Blaze, Big Nasty, they know Outlaw Jack very well. They faced him in a fatal four-way at Bad Karma against the Phenom. They know he's devastating. We, are, are we looking at our new tag champs? I'm just going to say it. Are, are we looking at our new tag champs right now? Well, it's definitely a possibility right now here on DWF. Tag to Big Nasty. The thing, too, Chucky, is like, this isn't the last team, right? There's still one more team. I don't know who it's going to be. It could be anybody. I didn't know this was even a team to begin with. That, got, just, that just goes to show, I mean, do either of these teams, are, are either of them going to have enough win for the match next? I mean, I could easily see that that 
either one of these teams will be gassed out before the next match. Absolutely. Especially if Blaze Nasty, Big Nasty and Bubba Blaze, if they actually advance and somehow manage to put away Jack and Smoke, they're going to, I mean, they have, they're in for a long night. But they're doing it all in honor of Jay Briscoe and the legendary, the legendary history, tag team history, the legacy that they've left. You gotta love the, the, the I, I, once again, the camo pants, beautiful. Brutal knees in the corner. Gotta keep tagging. Tagging in and out is the way to go. Big Nasty, though, thinks it's enough. Not even close. Only a one count. Uh-oh, what is this? I think he's looking for a power bomb. That's a long way down for Outlaw Jack. Tagging in Bubba Blaze once again. Gotta love the strategy here by the Beards of Mayhem. Outlaw Jack's gotta be holding on. Holding on by a thread. He's just gotta make it back to his corner and tag Razor. Ooh. Busted wide open. Right between the eyes. Oof. Throwing him around like a rag doll. Razor Smoke's eyes are locked on. And still, only a one count. Outlaw Jack just a force to be reckoned with. I mean, taking amazing amounts of damage. You can't count this guy out, man. I mean, that's what I'm telling you. Like, Outlaw Jack alone. If this was a handicap match, <laughs> like, I think he, he has a chance to beat these guys. You think he would hold his own in a handicap match? He'd at least give them a run for their money. This is one tough MFR. And he te finally tags in Razor. Finally give him a moment to wipe the blood out of his eyes. Beautiful springboard hook of the leg here. Bubba Blaze. Breaking up the count. As any good man would. Razor sends him to the outside. And now's his chance. Instead of gloating, I'd be setting something up here, Razor. He's young, he's flashy. He does it for the he does it for the fans. Just like his dad, he loves the fans and he loves to be a degenerate. Oh, what a neck breaker. Oh! I thought that was it right there, Chucky. Razor. Razor, Razor immediately going for Big Nasty. Sniped him. He was not about to let him break up the count, but luckily enough for Big Nasty, Bubba had just enough in the tank to kick out before the three count. And he tags his partner in. And he's asking Bubba Blaze to get up like a man and face him. Big boot to the chin. Going to the top here. Kicked him right in the beard. Go to Mon, tells him to get up again. Oh no! Completely misses that one. Is it gonna be detrimental for. Ooh! Clothesline from hell. We know the Briscoes are known for that move. That was a huge miscalculation by Razor Smoke. I think it's going to be the end of the match for him, missing that, that, that move off the top. Smoke holding on. He can't be stopped. This isn't how he's going to go out. Not, not from that. Not from some stupid mistake. Another big boot to Bubba. Hook of the leg here. 
And Big Nasty's in the ring. Ganging up on Razor. This is just wrong. Ref, what are you, what are you even getting paid for? Outlaw Jack, you know, Outlaw Jack, he's, he's being real patient right now. He's playing a smart man's game. Any other guy would have ran in there, probably got the cue. Uh oh. Knee to the jaw. Razor Smoke, a scrapper just like Outlaw, just like his father, Tenacious Smoke. Oh! Damn near took his head off. Almost like his own version of, of the smoke there. Probably runs in the family, you know? Stiff right arm. Neckbreaker by Outlaw Jack. The fact that Outlaw Jack takes the punishment to a guy the size of Big Nasty, that says a lot. And Outlaw Jack, he, he's not a very big guy, on. Not at all. He, he, he's probably, what, he's probably the size of Bomber from the last match. But ten times the heart, let me tell you. Oh, absolutely. Big Nasty showing some heart as well, though. Let's toss him around. Man, not even a one count. The defiant outlaw Jack. One half of Jack and Smoke, which is a genius name, in my opinion. Hopefully our newest tag, hopefully they're here to stay. Whether they win the titles or not. Looking for a tag. In comes Razor Smoke. And now it's Razor and Big Nasty. Seriously, going the distance here tonight. Oof! These Walked two teams right into it. Leaving it all on the mat. Oh. No respect. Throwing them throwing them like a, a garbage bag into the dumpster. Drop kick to the back of the head now by Bubba Blaze. Looking for another pin. Outlaw Jack not letting that happen. First time we saw Outlaw Jack here tonight interfere with the match. He must be getting nervous. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh! That might be enough. Oh my goodness! Is that it? A Jay Driller, followed by a clothesline from hell. We know that Jay Briscoe was known for those moves. And now, the final team. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's the Benjamins, Chucky. We know the history. They're the, f they're, they're the former Killshot Tag Team Champions. They were defeated by Blaze Nasty, the, the, the Beards of Mayhem. And no love lost. You know they got a chip on their shoulder. You know it's personal between these teams. But do they have what it takes? I mean, they lost their titles. Who's to say they're not going to just lose to get them again? Oh, wait a minute. They're not waiting for the bell. They brought the fight right to them. It looks like... Bubba Blaze and Big Nasty, they want to get right to it. They're not waiting for anybody else to walk down to the ring. And the bell finally rings. And here we get to the action. Bubba Blaze making quick work of Andre Benjamin. These guys got to be exhausted, though, Chucky. I mean, come on. And you're telling me they got to they gotta beat the Benjamins now, who... Gives you a run for your money when you're at a hundred percent. I mean, look at the power. Yeah, tossing around bubble blaze like that ain't easy. Oh, 
He's trying to choke him out. He's either going to tap out or pass out, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he's got enough wind left. It's been a real long night. Is Big Nasty going to come in? I think Anthony may have uh, stabilized him on the outside there. Either way, Bubba Blaze powering out of that, that submission. Like a G. Just couldn't get his arms around those big neck muscles, I suppose. Oh, so now you're now you're fat shaming, huh? No, well those are muscles, aren't they? Those are muscles. It's a little bit. Oh. I can't believe the Benjamins are the final boss here tonight. I mean, former tag team champions. I mean, it's almost not fair, Arnie. It's like it's like they went from easiest to hardest. Yeah, it's almost like they should have went backwards, right? It's uh, come on here. If the Benjamins walk out with the tag titles, I, I mean, it's a setup. I mean, come on, it wouldn't be right. But then again, it doesn't matter how we feel because the only thing that matters is who walks out with the belts. How right you are. Ooh! And what do we got here? Big Nasty. Oh, just hammering away at the chest of Anthony Benjamin. Oof. You might have broken a few ribs there, Arnie. I would not want to be on the receiving end of a move like that. Andre had to step in. And now the Benjamin's trying to gang up on Big Nasty, but he might be just too big and too nasty for that. Oh, what a clothesline! I'd like to say oh, that Andre was... Andre turned his back on a, on a predator. I love the respect that uh, Bubba and Big Nasty have for that. Like, Bubba Blaze is not getting involved because he knows Big Nasty. Yeah, this, you know? he can handle it. Match made its way back into the ring. Where it belongs. Titles on the line. No time for DQs or countouts. We don't want to see that. Tag here. Oh, wait. What are they looking for? Oh, man. Big man on the top ropes. Oh. A doomsday device. The Briscoes made that move damn near infamous. I love all the, the, the tributes tonight here to Jay Briscoe, the Briscoes in general. Beautiful doomsday device by the Beards of Mayhem. Boy oh my god, day. are they going for it again? Whoa! A second one! Oh, th that's gotta be it, Arnie. I mean... Th these two men have just seemed to be unstoppable all night. Is this, I mean, put it away, guys. I feel like they're, they're insult to injury once again. And third time's the charm. Oh, just narrowly escaping yet another doomsday device. The egos, the cockiness, not being smart enough to put away the match. That's what gets people to drop titles. I, you know, I appreciate the tribute. You know, trust me. To, to the late Jay Briscoe. But come on, you, the, the titles are on the line, guys. You hit two doomsday devices. Hook the leg. And you see Anthony now. Anthony teeing off. And just like that, the Benjamins have control again. Smart thing to do here would be go for a tag, but Anthony just... He just wants to keep pounding Big Nasty. Oh, chop for chop on that one. A scoop slam by Big Nasty. Put him away here. Hit him with a, with a clothesline from hell or something. Put this guy to bed. Retain the titles. Tagging in his, his partner. That's smart. Could it be? A third! Not for a third time, there's no way! Doomsday device! 
Third time's got to be the charm, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, but he's picking him up. What's happening here? Oh, Anthony Andre Benjamin from behind. I think he made a tag to Anthony Benjamin. While Bubba Blaze was none the wiser, got him in a sleeper hold after three Doomsday devices able to still stay in this match. Saving his partner. It's not looking too good for Blaze Nasty, Chucky. I thought they had this match won, but at this point, I, I don't know. I'm beside myself. It's a dog fight here, Arnie. Who, who, who has what it takes to stay on top? Beautiful display from the beards of mayhem lasting as long as they have. Look at the leg. Oh, only a one count. Bubba, how do you have, have anything in the tank? Let alone kicking out at one. Huge reversal. Is that enough to put Andre away? Hits him with a suplex. What's he thinking here? He's got to think fast. Oh, he's hooking the arms. Chucky, it's a Jay Driller. Jay Briscoe's patented finishing move. A hook of the leg. Is he finally going to put it away? One. Two. Three. And here you have it. Beards of Mayhem retain the titles. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Goddamn amazing. One of the best main events we've had here on Kill Shot. Still your tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed your time here tonight on Kill Shot. I'm Arnie Armbar. That's Chucky Choke Slam. And we're out of here. Good night.